everyone, Tandalyn here with another Final Fantasy uh, 14 video. Um, I'm in a car with some friends this time, the, the regalia this time with uh, a couple friends. And I just thought this was so cute. As you can see, the Lala, the way they sit in the front seat, they sit on their feet. That is so cute. And they lean on the dashboard. I mean, how adorable is that? What? Ah, whoa, whoa, okay. Okay. <laughs> My friend's driving, and I love the way that Mikote sit in that back seat back there. It looks like they're, like, either afraid or are they chatting to the driver or something. Ah, whoa. That was glitchy. Yeah, so, yeah, I just thought this was really cute, and I had to tape it since, you know, um, I'm my sub is running out, and I don't plan on uh, renewing it for a while. I'm not going to play 5.0. Um, I've been playing since 1.0, so it's just kind of heartbreaking, but I have some health issues right now that makes it really hard to play. I haven't played actively in about two months, um, so I just thought, well, better than, you know, wasting money and continually subbing on this. It's like, and also it's like, I mean, I do have a few friends as you can see, but it's mostly... I don't know. So many people talk about how great the community is, and I guess compared to World of Warcraft, it's great. I mean, anything compared to World of Warcraft is great, so that's not much of a uh, comparison. Um, I think all online communities are toxic in some sense, so that's just me, though. Um, there's always some misunderstandings or miscommunications, and no matter what you do, there's always going to be somebody that takes something out of context and uses it against you. That is hilarious. <laughs> um, oh, sorry about the car, anyway. Um, but yeah, so there's always gonna be the toxic people that ruin it for you. And as much as people talk up the community being so great and everything, and this is coming from somebody that has played World of Warcraft since vanilla days. I was in the um, open beta in vanilla and played up until um, right before Miss the Pandaria. So MOP, I guess. I, I didn't get that expansion and I so I played until then. And at the beginning the community was great, of course. Um, I'm gonna change seats too now. And um let's see. Okay, now I have that seat, which is so cute. Um uh the way the Lala sits. It's just too adorable. But yeah, everybody keeps talking up this community being so awesome and so great. And I guess compared to World of Warcraft it is. But, um, oops. But yeah, it's just, I don't know. There's a lot of aspects that I just, I don't agree with. I guess maybe if you find your niche group or you're just really popular on YouTube and you have, you know, many, many, many millions of followers, of course you're going to be popular and people always want to be with you and hang out with you and, you know, because you're a personality that everybody flocks to because they want to be popular too because they get to hang out with the popular kids. It's very high school, middle schoolish, and I don't like that mentality anyway. Um, no, I'm not jealous or anything. I don't really care um, if I see something great. Uh, and I'll retweet it or I'll talk about it. That's, you know, haha, someone did something funny. Okay, that's great. But anyway, I just don't like the mentality of flocking to the popular people because they're popular. Um, so I'm not like that anyway. So yeah, there's going to be many reasons why I'm not going to continue playing. I don't know. I guess if the community was better, I would probably continue playing, but it's not. And I do more random dungeons than anything else, so after a while, you get really tired, especially if you main a healer. You'll hear all sorts of things that you're doing wrong um, in, in pugs and pickup groups. So yeah, I mean, after a while, that gets really old and gets really tiring. If I had like a set group of eight people or so that went and did these dungeons together, then that'd be another story. But even then, over the years, I mean, since like 2004, when I started playing all these games, it's like, 
Oh, what a pretty sunset. It's just, I don't know. Uh, MMOs are a bygone thing, I think. I think they're dying. They say Final Fantasy XIV is the best MMO out there, but that's mainly because there's not many MMOs being made. WoW is literally dying because Blizzard's like totally wrecking that game. Um, it's just not the same anymore, and... I mean, it's neat that they want to bring out classic and everything like that, but at the same time, it's like, mm, no. I don't think I really want to farm um, Black Rock Deaths for uh, Fire Resist gear again, over and over and over and over and over. Deck out 40 plus people because, you know, not everybody stays with your party because once they get what they want and there's already a group in progression or already, you know, further in, they'll dump your group and go with that group. So then you're going to be scrambling around to find another replacement. And then it's like, you know, back to square one. Got to deck them all out. And then during that course of the time, other people will leave and other people will be replaced. There's never any... um patience these especially these days back in the day when i did it in 2004 a lot more people did stay around because there weren't as many progressed groups out there jumping ahead and being like hey we're looking for this person that is all decked out already and it's like instead of waiting for 30 other people to get decked out they just leave your group and join another so it's like that's great just go ahead and do that thanks without any consideration on how that affects that group, you know? Anyway, close-up shot of my cute Lala. Look at her. She is so cute, making that little, uh, with her Moogle paws, it almost looks like a, oops, a little kitty cat or something, you know, sitting there. But anyway, um, sorry, I'm just rambling now, but yeah, so I'm just gonna wrap up my time here and thought, Oh, I'm gonna change seats. I guess I go back up on the front one. <laughs> because, or maybe here. Uh, uh. I think all the positions are cute, but this one's this one and the other one that I was just in are the they rank the cutest. And then driving, of course, I'm sitting, I'm standing in the seat, so that's even hilarious, more hilarious. I wonder why they chose to do that um but yeah uh sorry that's just my two cents i know it's not the popular two cents and i might even get flamed out for it but you know oh well to each their own you find your niche group that's great i'm happy for you i've never really done that i've known um these two well at least the one driving right now and I'm just refraining from naming people just because I want to respect their privacy. Um, I've known them for four years now, I think it is. I think it's about four years. And I think that's the longest that I've maintained a friendship on one of these games. Uh, I just, I'm really bad with people. I'll, I'll admit that right now. Um, <laughs> do I come with them? Where am I? Uh, oh yeah, I am. Whoa, cool. I didn't think I'd zone in with them, but I guess we did. Yeah, so he zoned in. I, I thought it dumped, it used to dump. Anyway, so yeah, so, um, I mean, it's cool that some people are able to maintain their friendships with people. And then, like I said, I'm just really bad with people. I've never been a people person. I have my reasons. Everybody has their backstories. Everybody has their reasons. Um, I have trust issues, so that's my issue. And I think I... That's probably just one of my many flaws. Um, anyway, um, I wish I could continue playing this game. I wouldn't mind even just logging in and hanging out with them. 
but time differences and uh, goals that don't align up really it's just like I end up more um, randoming into random groups than I do playing with friends we just happen to align at a certain time right now and are playing this is a rare chance to be honest so yeah, anyway, my sub is ending in like 45 days or something like that. And I'm going to let my my houses expire. I have a man a personal mansion that will be expiring, unfortunately. Um, but well, nothing I can do about that. And my friend here will take over my FC with an alt and just hold on to it till if I ever am able to come back. So yeah. Now we're just flying around. I like the music. The background music is, I guess, the the end music from Final Fantasy XV. I think. <laughs> she likes to go in the water. That is just so funny. It really is. We're like halfway in the water. <laughs> she just said I'm drowning. <laughs> I'm doing the ouch. Look. <laughs> uh, anyway. We'll just continue watching this. I won't ramble anymore. Sorry to bore you. But I just thought, you know, this would be fun to capture for memory's sake, I guess. Yeah, I wish it wasn't raining, too. Um, it'd be nice if it was prettier out while we were doing this, like it was earlier, but... That's the neat thing about this game, for anyone that hasn't played this game and is interested and don't mind me rambling in the background, the weather changes randomly. It can be storming like this, it can be bright and sunny, it can be like, yeah, it's just, it's really neat because it will set the mood. This game is definitely very pretty. I'm going to miss the graphics. But yeah. As I said earlier, it is known to be the best MMO right now because nobody's making MMOs anymore. I I just think their time has gone. And now they nowadays it's everybody's making is uh MOBA games or mobile games, mobile gay games, yeah. It's such a it's really quiet. <laughs> nobody's out doing anything. I guess they're just anticipating 5.0 and which comes out in like about two weeks. You know, I wonder if it'd be better actually. Um, changing the sound on this. I guess it doesn't really because I can't while the game's in progress. One thing that's faulty about this, oh well. Hey, wow, there's an actual another player running around. Shocking. Well, it's not really raining here, it's thunderstorming. Oh yeah, the thunder and lightning in this game is almost scarily realistic, if you'll see. Look at that. It's. I had a friend, another friend that was scared of lightning, and any time it would do this, she would not want to play. At all. Just could not, for the life of her, get to play. She had to log right out. Because it, it was that real. And, or that realistic, should I say. Which is kind of interesting, the fear. I'm not 
you know, condemning it or thinking badly of it. Everybody has their fears. Like I have my fear of clowns and people think it's stupid, but you know, I just, it, everybody has their phobias, right? So yeah, I mean, look at that. It's just crazy. Those lightning strikes just look too realistic. And the thunder, yeah. I guess we're circling the tower. Oh, <laughs> you can't fly any higher. Uh huh. Mm, I think we're still technically flying. <laughs> Colluding into it. <laughs> oh man. Ah, uh, so there's that, yeah. I, I really like this mount. It's funny. I It's the first four po uh, more than two person mount that I've noticed anyway. I haven't noticed any other mounts that were have been like this and I don't know if there are any other ones but I haven't been playing often just logging in and doing this quest to get it and stuff. So yeah. Huh. Anyway. Um, I guess this video is long enough now. Thanks for listening. And if you have, if you're heading into 5.0, I hope you have lots of fun and enjoy it. I've heard some good things about it, obviously, since I've been following a lot of stuff. But to me, it's just another expansion. I mean, I know I mentioned earlier that I played World of Warcraft since vanilla. I played this during 1.0 briefly. And I was in the closed and open beta of um, 2.0 and have been in a game for pretty much the whole time. I did take six months or so off for a while um, during 2.0 or yeah, during two, right before Heaven's Ward. And then, but I have been pretty playing pretty consistently until recently since I moved and since I've had all these stupid health issues. But yeah, anyway, it's kind of hard to let go because I'll miss my character the most. She's just so cute. Lollapels are adorable. By the way, and speaking of which, with the announcement of the new Breath of the Wild 2, Zelda's hairstyle is exactly like the one I have on my Lollapel. They copied. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, I'm really looking forward to that, by the way. I hope you guys are too. Um, all those Nintendo games. Nintendo totally owned E3. Okay, I'm just going on another di different tangent, sorry. Um, oh, the lighting in here is really neat. Look at that. I guess we're going underwater now. Oh, that was weird. The car didn't spawn right away. This is so realistic. <laughs> us sitting in a car with nothing covering us. I mean, yeah, we have the blessing of the uh, kojin or something like that. That's so why we can breathe underwater. But still, this is this is this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I better just stop the video now. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you again in another video. Take care. Bye.